Hello everybody, sorry we're starting a bit late. Um, so this is um, LSK from Health Boxes um, and I'm here, this is in, in light of breastfeeding week and I'm here to talk a bit more about breastfeeding in public. So um, I'll just start quickly and easily as to what breastfeeding is, is about. Um, I, I mean, I don't have to start with what breastfeeding is about, but breastfeeding, everybody knows what breastfeeding is, I want to assume. Um, it's when the mother feeds the child using milk from her breast. Um, it is, it's been advocated um, for years now that that's the best form of um, nutrition for the child because the child gets all the nutrition um, that it needs in that one place. And there's also re reduction of things like infections, like diarrhea, and as such, the child it's, um, um, becomes more, uh, what would I put it? The, the infant mortality rate increases. So that means they don't die very early. Um, so uh, as, as it's part of the breastfeeding week, I was asked to talk about breastfeeding in public. So the girls had asked me, the team had asked me that, oh, did I breastfeed my two children in in public? Um, I said yes. So <laughs> it it wasn't a it, it wasn't a uh, what would I put it? Because I guess um, for the first couple of months of their lives, I was um, not in Nigeria. I was abroad, so especially with the first, so it was easier, more acceptable. To breastfeed um, in public because literally um, you get up and once you've had your baby you've been discharged you can go out with your baby which we which I found when I first moved there very strange because in Nigeria you don't see any child under 40 days old outside and even with that 40 days you know you they're not outside their house there you don't really see them out they have to have at least attained 40 days whereas one day old babies were going out um, in the UK, and um, I had to get back to work within six weeks, so um, I had to um, make sure that every time I wasn't at work, I was having some contact with my child by breastfeeding, um, and so wherever it was that we were, if the child, um, if the child wanted to be breastfed, I would breastfeed. Um, and it was more convenient because you you just take um, a, 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 a breastfeeding napkin. So there's some napkins that you put. It has like a, um, the one that I used, which was really nice. It had like a, like a bone. So with it, you could, it didn't cover the head of the baby too much while well, it was latched on. And it gave you, you had some room to be able to see the baby's face while it was breastfeeding. So there, there, or you could just use a piece of cloth to cover and give some level of decency with regards to um, when you're having to breastfeed. Now, I was very intentional about um, breastfeeding my children to the minimum of six months. So both of them uh, were breastfed throughout uh, six months and then once they started grabbing or trying to reach out to my solid foods, then I started to substitute the so solid foods with the milk. But they still had breast milk up until they were 12 years old. So I can, I'm, I'm hearing a lot, I can hear a lot of people saying, how, do, how are you able to do that? Um, yeah, please feel free to type in your questions here um, if you have any questions and I'll try to answer it. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll be speaking mostly from the viewpoint of of a mother that did breastfeed in public <laughs> and um, had no regrets. Um, now, the, the reasons why a lot of people don't um, advocate for it is mainly because of decency, because of cultural, um, and also because a lot of women might not feel safe because they might be chastised or you know, may, men may, might make lewd remarks and things like that. But if you're, you, 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 so, so fine, maybe not breastfeed 
in a party, for example, or you can go to a separate corner at the back of the hall and do your thing there. Look for a small room with a small, uh, but you're still not in hiding in your room because you, you still have to have a life. So if you're going to make a conscious and intentional decision to breastfeed your child, you will most likely have to breastfeed in public at some point. So you need to be prepared for that every time you're going out. I know the formulas are convenient, but they don't give the level of protection that the breastfeed gives the child. Um, the, the, the breast milk has already has like antibodies um, that helps the child to build immunity, especially in the first three months of life. Um, and um, it also um, has the food. It also has water that the child needs. Um, I know a lot of reasons why. So in Nigeria, um, I used to think we did exclusive breastfeeding, but apparently what we, we practice is something called predominantly um, breast, predominant breastfeeding, more like predominant breastfeeding. And that's because we traditionally add things like water um, to the diet of the baby, and then there's the herbal drinks that are, grandmothers, our mothers have used. So we give those to the children as well. Now, um, I've, I mean, I've heard as a pharmacist cases of, of women that used to think their child was needed water and they actually gave that child too much water that the child died. So the child actually was drowned, basically, because that's, that's how it would feel, because it had too much water in. So from a safety point of view, it's um, best to just give the, the, the breast milk. Um, they, the first thing that comes out of the breast is water. So um, I know when people are breastfeeding in Nigeria, they try to express that bit out first before they give the child the thicker colostrum. But you need to realize that that first bit is mostly water and it's enough water for the child to use. Now, um, if you're going to have to be um, intentional, like I said about breastfeeding, you have to make that decision right at the beginning when you're when you're pregnant. Make you start to think about it, um, get your mindset shifted. Do I really want to do this? Because it's not the easiest of things. There's more convenient options there, like the formulas. But like I said, it doesn't give as much um, protection to the baby as your breast milk would be. So you need to be prepared. Um, and I think the reason why I, I breastfed in public, like I said earlier, was because I wanted to be sure that the child, I had some connection with the child as well. So, but I, I needed to have a social life too. So whenever I went out to see friends, um, I took my, nap, my breastfeeding napkins with me and I would just go into a corner and, and just breastfeed, breastfeed the child there. I didn't have any issues. Um, I've had cases of people who did have issues uh, with people confronting them as to why, why, why are they breastfeeding in public? Why don't you just go into a room there and feed the child? Or why did you even come out with the child in the first place? Why didn't you just leave the child at home with the, with the grandmother, with the nanny, and let them give them formula? Why are you stressing yourself? Um, why do you, why are you actually breastfeeding because it's going to make your boobs droop? You know, things like that. Those are all the different things that people consider when they want to make the decision to, to breastfeed. But like I said, you should be intentional about it. You should get the support of your family, um, especially your husband. Um, and if you can express, so I did a survey, I went to do a quick check to see how much it would cost to actually have a breast pump. And it's between 3,500 to 4,500, 5,000 naira. Um, to get a breast pump. So that's a manual one. So you have to literally use your hand to pump the breast um, and get the milk out. Now, milk, if stored properly, I know we don't have um, good electricity in Nigeria, but if milk is stored properly, it can last up to three months, six months. And you just defrost it, warm it up and give it to the child. Um, but in in um, in the cases of... of um, of if you're not producing enough breast milk, of course, then you can add the formula to it. Um, Ade Ronke is asking, is the first time breastfeeding painful? Um, no, um, it, it, um, 
it 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 isn't um because well i didn't find it so it becomes breastfeeding um or the latch maybe just the sensation of having um the pressure of the mouth of the baby on the nipple um was was a bit uncomfortable but it wasn't painful now if over time you don't look after your nipples properly um when i say that you need to let it air out we've done several posts on this thing so you can check our our, 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 our posts to be able to see what and learn a bit more um but you there, there are certain ways to be able to protect from breastfeeding being painful so like that's mostly the um so it's either the nipple becomes sore or the breast becomes engorged um or you get so if your breast gets engorged so that means it's full of milk um, and you haven't expressed it out and then you can get an infection in it um uh, in the breasts so that has nothing to do with breastfeeding because if you're not breastfeeding or you're breastfeeding you can still get engorged breast because it's just a natural way the body is preparing for you to feed the baby for you to have milk in your breasts so if it um it feels engorged another thing you can do is to do a manual expression there's a video in our page as well that shows you how to do it and you can actually get some of the breast milk out that way so that you it then now stops being painful um but if you're for example it's your nipple that is painful when you're trying to breastfeed um, there are some barrier creams that you can use to make sure that your nipple doesn't start to crack so you can imagine you know like in hamatan uh, if you have water constantly because the baby will be suckling there'll be a lot of saliva it dries out the skin around the nipple and then it cracks and that's when it starts to get really painful so you can um, there, there are nipple shields that you can use but most babies don't like those or you can use certain creams that and you just apply it um, regularly after breastfeeding, try to clean it off before the next meal, and it will help soothe, soothe the, the, the skin around, around the nipple. So essentially, for, but first time breastfeeding isn't painful. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on was um, how, how um, uh, yeah, I think I've touched on most of it actually. Um, so, but to be able to make sure my 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 babies had, um, I, I I succeeded in giving them breast milk for twelve months, even while I was working. I I um, used to express milk a lot and store it. Um, I, by the time I put them into a routine, so you need to remember that you have to put them into a routine to be able to be sure that you're going to be able to do this right. So most Nigerians, just as long as the child is hungry, you breastfeed. But m sometimes that child is not hungry, it's just looking for contact and it's comforting for them to just be suckling. Um, so, it, but if you put the child in a routine, you already yourself know when the child should be, should be hungry. So even if it's going to start off every hour, every two hours, every three hours, you know, um, you should put a routine and let the child know. And you too should also know your child and anticipate when the child is going to start getting hungry so that you've already prepared. So after a while, you know exactly how many, how many pints or spoonfuls of milk the child is going to have to use or eat in the day. And you can express those out. Um, I had a manual. Uh, no, I, I tried the manual one, but then I had, I ended up using mostly the uh, electric breast pumps. And I literally carried it everywhere with me. So if the baby was not with me at the time when the baby was supposed to be feeding, then I will use my breast pump to express. And then I will put it in like a small cooler bag with like an ice pack and take it back home. If there was no light, um, I just made sure that that batch didn't was used immediately because uh, you can't. I think you can't. You can only use it for uh 24 hours and then you have to discard it so if possible try to freeze it as soon as possible so that you can be able to use it because it's almost like um like um it's almost like like gold <laughs> when you're trying to express it um i found that a lot of people uh, for me i found that i i using 
um, I used to drink Ogi and um, custard a lot when it was time for me to, maybe like 30 minutes before breastfeeding to make sure that I had enough um, milk to be able to express or to, and to leave. So another thing that I did, <laughs> can't, I actually can't believe I'm talking about breastfeeding in public like this. But another thing that I did um, was I, if you, you, you need to rotate the breast that the baby is on. So if you feed the baby with the right breast one, one week, one day, uh, one, one feeding time, you use the next one, but uh, the next feeding time. And I know, and what I did was I, when the baby's, if the baby's with me and the baby is um, um, latched on to one boob, I used to express the other boob out, you know, so that at, at least I was maximizing time. And um, for that time when I was feeding the baby and having my mommy time with the baby, I was also expressing milk for next feed, you know. So, I um, mean, I know that, yes, it's difficult but I think if you're intentional about it, it you can actually achieve um, exclusive breastfeeding. Um, and if you're intentional about want, knowing that you want, you're going to have to breastfeed in public, you have to be the strong woman that you, you've already been created to be. Um, not look at anybody's faith, but be decent about it. Um, use some decorum, move to the side, use napkins to cover yourself and clothes. You need to be sure if you are going out at that point in time, you need to be sure that the outfit that you are going to wear would allow you to still cover up while you're breastfeeding. So wearing clothes with um, um, buttons or zips in the front, having a nursing bra that allows you to just unclip some part of it and the baby can latch on is the best as opposed to having clothes with zips at the back or T-shirts, because if it's T-shirt, then you have to lift your whole, your whole top up and then that's exposing your body. Your husband, your boyfriend, your partner wouldn't like that. Your mother definitely wouldn't like that and definitely not your grandmother. So think before. So that's why I keep saying you have to be intentional about it. So you have to think in advance. OK, I'm going out. The baby is going to be with me. What happens if I'm in the middle of Ebano, for example, and the baby wants to to eat and I haven't got formula yet and he's screaming I'm going to have to breastfeed in public so what do you do you can't just leave the baby screaming you know so always have your your napkin or a piece of cloth with you um, scout around for uh, a safe enough area where you see that there are not a lot of people there um, ask the store people to give you a chair I'm sure they will gladly give it to you because they know you're going to buy things from them and sit down there back. So I used to back the public most times. So um, I'll just face like a wall, back the public and do my thing, you know. It's, and then it becomes, you're just ignoring everybody. But um, definitely always be at the back of your mind. Put your the thoughts behind that. Yeah, other people don't want to see your boob. <laughs> don't want to see your baby latched onto your boob. So be decent about it and cover and cover up when you are you are breastfeeding in public. But more often than not, I would say every mother has had to breastfeed in public at some point. Maybe not so regularly, but at some point. So um, you might have had visitors in the house. They've come to see the baby, you know, things like that. So um, I, I, um, I, if there are any questions out there, anybody would like to ask me about breastfeeding um i'm happy to answer the question and yes oh thank you thank you everybody for for joining us um, um and if you want to be part if you want to ask your question live you can you can um you can you i've i've, I've done a request so you can um you can send your request to join and I can add you if, if you would like to ask your question live, for example. Yeah. Um, any questions? I hope this has been useful for anybody. Uh, so I'll just wait in case there are any questions. But I think if this is our first Facebook live, 
Uh, okay, no, 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 actually, it's, it's not. I think we did one last year. So we will be doing more. Maybe every other month we'll pick up a topic and we'll come and talk about it here. Um, so if you, if you follow us, um, you'll be able to get the notifications about it. You can have your questions in advance. Um, and we're always happy to answer your questions. Even if we're not here, you can just drop it in the comment section and we'll get back to you. So I hope this has been useful to somebody. Please try to keep exclusive breastfeeding. If you are, if you are a mother to be, if you're existing mother, um, if you're a new mother, persevere and um, we're here for you if you need it, if you need to ask us any questions. Thank you very much for your time and have a wonderful weekend. This is LSK signing out and um, take care. Bye bye.